y'all what's up so I am back with another video um, as you may or may not have noticed I didn't have a video upload last week and I'll kind of talk about that a little bit um, in today's video but for today's video as you can tell by the title um, this is just gonna be kind of like a first impressions of a bunch of stuff that I bought from Ulta um, not enough stuff to do a haul but you know stuff that I haven't tried out yet so I wanted to try it out with you so, really quick, I'm just going to kind of run through what I got. Um, I picked up the Face Tape Foundation from Tarte in the shade 12N, the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream in the shade White Russian. I know I'm the last person on earth to try this. I don't know. I wasn't really, I'm not, you know, I wasn't really a gloss girl, but I'm kind of getting into more glossier lips. Um, so I also got the Urban Decay Brow Blade, and mine is in the shade Dark Traits. So I'm very excited to try that out because, as you know, I am so dead set on my L'Oreal Brow Definer. I also got this, which I'm super excited about. This is from Benefit. It's the Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad Palette. Um, I picked this up because Jacqueline Hill, she did, I think, like a current favorites video of couple videos ago and the highlight shade in here cookie was so beautiful on her like it was literally the most beautiful highlight I've ever seen but she had the mini version of this and I couldn't find the mini version anywhere so I got the full size one which that's fine so we'll be using that and I wanted to try this out. I've seen it a little bit, a couple times. I haven't heard anyone talk about it. This is new from Duo. It is the Duo Quick Set Strip Lash Adhesive. So it's new. Apparently, the dry down time for this is supposed to be super fast. Like, only takes like five seconds for it to dry down and you can stick it on. This regular Duo one, I mean, it takes maybe like 30 seconds or so for it to dry down and get tacky enough. But apparently this one is a quick set and you're supposed to be able to do it within like five seconds. So we will see. And whenever I did pick this up, Ardell was having a buy one get one half off sale. So I just picked up a pair of their foaming lashes and these are in the 854 style. Alright, so with all of that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. My face is already cleansed and moisturized. And since this isn't really like a review of the foundation, I am going to go in with my normal primer, which is my Revlon Pore Reducing Primer. And I'm just going to apply this on my pore areas. So first off, we're going to go in with the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. And again, I said I got mine in the shade 12 in. Just shaking it up a little bit. So I'm hoping that this will be a good shade match for me. I'm absolutely terrible at picking out foundation shades for myself. Um, so this one, kind of like the claims on the box, it just says it has a full coverage, a flawless natural matte finish, and you will get infinite likes for it. So bring on the infinite likes. Um, I'm just going to dot a little on, and it looks like it is a little bit light for me. I probably could have gone a little darker. I have been tanning a little bit at my gym, so this might have matched me like a month ago. I don't tan a lot, just like a little. Okay, I'm just going to put on that, and I'm going to go in with a sponge and a brush just to see which finish I like better. Like I said, this isn't a full foundation review, so, you know, oh, that's really light. I do like the coverage it's giving though, but that is very light. I'm not liking how it looks right there. So like I said, this isn't a foundation review, so I'm going to go in with a teeny tiny bit of my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade 430 Ivory Buff. I'm just going to add a tiny pump into the foundation that I already have just to deepen it up a tiny bit. So I did mention earlier in the video that, um, you know, some of you may have noticed, some of you may have not noticed, I didn't post a video last week, um, and that is because I was dealing with a loss in my family, and, you know, some people might not think this is a big deal, but it was a very big deal to me and my husband. Um, our 
dog, and I use that term very loosely because he was not a dog to me. He was literally my son. Um, he passed away last Monday, and we are absolutely, completely heartbroken. Um, he was just a little old man, and he was literally, I mean, he was the best dog ever. He was practically a pet rock. He didn't really do much except for sleep, and he was just a little old man, and he was grumpy, and we love him so much. I don't really want to go into too much detail about it, just because it's, you know, it was just something very personal with us, and it is very upsetting. Um, we're still you know, not over it, and I don't think we ever will be, because he's been in our lives for so long. He was in our wedding, and I just, I love him, you know, to the bottom of my heart, but just to let you know, that's why I wasn't here, and, uh, I mean, I almost didn't even film today. You know, I have to film today and edit tomorrow so I can post on Tuesday because today is Sunday. And, like, I, I almost just didn't even want to because I've just been so out of it and just not, not good. But, you know, I figured I have to push myself and get through this and, you know, keep on keeping on. But, you know, it is really hard, so that's where I was at. Um... We're doing okay, but, you know, he's not hurting anymore, and we'll see him again. Okay, so I'm going to move on from that and try not to think about it, because I cried so much last week. I literally don't think I have tears left in me. i am probably cried out for the next two years. Um, so, I'm going to move on. The foundation. Um, the tone definitely looks better since I added a few drops of the Infallible Fresh Wear foundation in. Um, the tone looks a lot better and, you know, I'll bronze up the skin and it'll come all together at the end. But, um, yeah, um, I'm not mad at it. My skin, it looks really nice. It covered amazingly. I didn't have to go in with a super ton of foundation. It is a, you know, a thicker one and it does cover very well. Um, it is kind of a little dry down here, like around my chin area, but foundations always do that to me. I am going to jump off camera for a minute. I'm going to do my concealer and set my face and then we will be back to finish the rest of my face. So I am back. I have my concealer on and my powder. For my concealer, I went in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin. My under eye powder was my Cody Airspun and my face powder, just to kind of powder down my cheeks so they weren't tacky, um, is my Maybelline Color Stay. No, sorry. My Maybelline Super Stay Powder Foundation. Oh, do I want to do brows? Maybe I'll do my brows now. I think I am. I'm going to do my brows. I'm not going to do them completely fully on camera because that will take a million years. Um, but I'm going to do them a little bit. So if you do not know about the Urban Decay Brow Blade, on one side you have this teeny tiny little precision like marker pen type thing. So that way you can draw in like really fine individual hair strokes. And on the other side you have a traditional little brow pencil. Thinking, I'm gonna go in with the little pin side first. I have hairs all over me. Oh, and I, uh, yeah, kind of broke off one of my nails trying to pick up my German Shepherd because I was being a goober and I broke my nail off. It was very painful. Okay, so I'm just gonna add, oh yes, this will take some getting used to. But I can really see myself using this, especially the marker part on a real like no makeup makeup day, just like super chill. Cause you can really just add just like a couple brush strokes here and there just to fill in the sparse areas. Cause I do have some sparse areas that I like to kind of fill in. I like 
right up here. And I like the color of this. It's a tiny bit warm for what I'm used to, but I do like it. It's nice. My legs uh, and my butt hurts so bad right now. Um, you know, last week I didn't go to the gym at all, and I typically go to the gym like four to five days a week. I didn't go to the gym at all last week, and I went yesterday. I'm sore. I'm hurting bad today. It is 8.26 at night, and I'm not going anywhere, so... I'm going to stop spending 20 minutes on my brows. Okay. So I do really love the brow blade. I will say it. I will say it right now. I do really like it. I think after I use it more and kind of perfect, you know, my technique with it, I think like, it's going to be the bomb ass thing and I'm going to use it over and over and over again. So we are going to move on. And that means that we are going to finish the rest of my face with the Cheek Leader palette. So uh, I open the box. It has this little dilly. Here is the front. And okay, that happened. So I opened it up and a little clear plastic thingy that was protecting the front came off. As well as one of those stupid little brushes. I don't like them. They're completely useless to me. Here is the palette right here. We have a blush here and right here. This blush looks so pretty. And then we have the traditional Hula right here and Hula Caramel right here, which that looks pretty deep and very warm for me. So I don't know if I'm gonna be using that one. And the absolute whole reason why I bought this palette to begin with is this beautiful highlight shade right here called Cookie. Oh my god, it looks stunning. Ooh. Oh, look at that. And it does say, I think it said it on Ulta, that Cookie is like an exclusive shade to this palette. So that's unfortunate because I want it in a single pan all the time. That's what I want. So they need to make that happen. I think first things first, I'm going to go in and bronze that way. I'll look a little bit more bronzed and I'm going to hit the traditional hula, which I've used this many times before. I have both the original, you know, traditional hula and I have hula light in here, in here. I'll try like a tiny bit of the Hula Caramel. It just looks like it's not going to be good. But I will say that one thing that I do really like about this palette is, you know, since it is kind of like an all-in-one bronzer blush highlight palette, um, I can take this on like a weekend getaway and use this for my face and for my eyeshadows because, you know, you can use the two you know, brown shades in your crease or whatever, use that for your lid or even this for the lid. You know, you can use those as an eyeshadow palette, which I'm going to do. So that means less packing for me. And you know what? I think that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to use this palette on my eyes too. I'm going to go in with a stippling brush and just pick up the tiniest bit of Hula Caramel. So I'm going to grab my blush brush and I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is Coralista. So I'm going to grab a little bit of that. Pretty coral brush. Pretty coral. Oh my god. It is a pretty coral blush. Oh, you know what? So this, the Coralista blush, which is this one right here. It looks very similar to this one, which is Milani's Luminoso. Like they are really close to the same kind of tone. Oh my God, 
this is so pretty. For my eyes, ugh, I can't get over how pretty this highlight is. It's gorgeous. So, for my eyes, I am going to go in with the Cheek Leader palette. I keep dropping things. Um, I'm just going to go in with the Hula Caramel on a big fluffy brush. And just really sloppily, messily put that all over the place, pretty much. Same shade on a smaller brush. I'm going to grab Gold Rush right here. And I'm going to pop that on my lid. One thing I do want to note, whenever you look at Gold Rush in the pan, you can see like this really pretty gold overspray. But whenever I was digging into it in the middle, that gold kind of goes away. And there's no gold inside of it. So just be aware if you do want to get it for that shade. Um, yeah, it's kind of just an overspray. So, yeah. Um, now, on my finger again, I'm going to take Cookie and put this on my lid as well. Oh my gosh. Just to get right in a little bit more detailed, I'm going to grab... A small little detail brush. Okay, so I'm actually really loving how my eyes look right now. I am going to pop on a little mascara, grab the lashes out of this box, and then we're gonna see just how quick this duo is. So I am back, I have my mascara on, and I used the Wander Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. I do love this, uh, not for volume, but for length. It's pretty good. Um, I have my lashes out, and I went ahead and trimmed them just a teeny tiny bit, and here is the new duo glue. I think they do also have this in a dark tone, so it dries black whenever it goes on. This one will dry clear. So this is the other duo with vitamins, the green one. It has a brush tip applicator. The new one has like this rubbery paddle type of an applicator, so that's interesting. I have my glue on. You can see it's been maybe about 10 seconds since I put it on, so I'm going to go ahead and try to pop them on. Of course, they're sticking to my applicator. I don't know about this. I, I think it's the lashes that aren't working for me. They're, oh, I don't know, ooh, they feel weird. I don't like these lashes. I've tried some of their faux mink ones before, but I don't know, that, this lash band is just really weird. They're beautiful, they're absolutely beautiful lashes. I don't know, maybe I'll try them a different time. So, just so I can try out the glue with a, la a pair of lashes that I do like, I'm gonna go in with some Ardell Demi Wispies, because I know that I love these. I purchase them all the freaking time. Let's try this again. So, I have my Ardell Demi Wispies. I got the new glue. And since I have used the Ardell Demi Wispies so many times before, I know that I don't have to uh, trim them or anything. I know they fit perfectly on my eye. So, I just put on the glue maybe five seconds ago, and I can already tell it's starting to dry down a little bit. I might give it just a few more seconds, and I'm going to pop it right onto my eye. Alright, let's try it out. And they're on! So, yeah, um, I would say that that is a pretty quick setting formula. Damn, and that side went on even faster. Usually I'm better with my right side than I am my left anyways. Yes, with the lashes on, the face done, all that is left is my Buxom Lip Gloss or Lip Cream in the shade White Russian. Here we go. It's supposed to have like a little bit of a plumping action to it. Oh, it smells so good. 
And I'm just putting this on my bare lips. The color is beautiful. Mm, I can feel like the tingliness. So I threw on a little bit of my Milani Matte Satin Lipstick in the shade Luxe. Um, it is really cool tone for what I'm wanting, so I blotted it off a lot. And I just want to add this on top to see. On top of that lipstick, it did tone down the shade a little bit, but I really like this and I'm going to be using it a lot. So that is it for today. If you did like this video, make sure that you give me a like, give me a little thumbs up so I know that you did like it and you want to see some more from me in the future. Um, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every single Tuesday at 6 p.m. whenever I do post a new video. Um, you know, I didn't post one last week, but that's because I miss my baby boy very much. Um, Sheldon, I love you. Not gonna get sad again. Anyways, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Turn it up. Let's go. Let's go.